We're going to turn now to the passing of a legendary actor, Oscar nominee Ryan O'Neill, one of Hollywood's leading men for decades, appearing in films like Love Story, Paper Moon, and What's Up, Doc? ABC's Chris Connolly is here in our studio to take a look at his life and legacy. Good morning to you, Chris. Hey, good morning to you, Gio. Yes, a handsome heartthrob on this 1960s television, a leading man in films of the 70s and 80s. Ryan O'Neill knew great success as an actor, even as his often turbulent personal life attracted public attention of a different kind. Taxi lady! Ryan O'Neill leapt to fame on the ABC drama Peyton Place, alongside Mia Farrow. I was a little shook up last night, Alice. I wouldn't blame you if you just said forget it. It opened the door to the movies. There, the former boxer's rugged good looks and charisma earned immediate attention. For many, his on-screen pinnacle would come in 1970, with his starring role in Love Story, opposite Ally McGraw. I give you my hand. I give you my love, more precious than money. He'd star in director Peter Bogdanovich's screwball comedy, What's Up, Doc?, opposite Barbara Streisand. Oh, God, I've forgotten the point. In 1973's Paper Moon, when he'd star with his daughter, Tatum O'Neill. She'd be an absolute sensation as grifter in training, Addie Prey. And she wrote, Happy Birthday, Addie, on the end of it. You just go look and see. At 10 years of age, Tatum would be nominated for a Best Supporting Actress Oscar. And... All I really want to thank is my director, Peter Bogdanovich, and my father. Thank you. 2001 A Space Odyssey's director Stanley Kubrick would cast O'Neill in the glowing by candlelight Barry Lyndon with Marissa Berenson. Sir, let those laugh that win. By then, O'Neill's own intimate life and misadventures had made him a tabloid fixture. His rages and emotional volatility would color several of his well-chronicled relationships. In her memoir, Angelica Houston would describe O'Neill grabbing her hair and hitting her in the forehead. With some of his children, there would be conflicts and periods of estrangement. But overnight, his son Patrick O'Neill, recalling the father he loved. I just wanted to share what a special man my dad is. And I think sometimes that is lost when they, when they hear things about Ryan O'Neill. He was the greatest father that I could have ever asked for. I just love the man so much. I really do. And it's a big loss for me. In the 80s, Ryan O'Neill's romance with Farrah Fawcett would grab headlines. Together, they had a son, Redmond. After a 1997 breakup, they'd reunite in 2001 as O'Neill battled leukemia. Then, just as his character had done on screen in Love Story, he'd be by his loved one's side as Farrah faced the ravages of cancer. I'm very happy going to the, her house every day if she's awake or not or, or, or tending to her. And that's, I'm, I'm, that's my life. I'm not interested in anything but seeing to her comfort. Her saga and theirs, chronicled by Barbara Walters in a 2009 ABC News special. She was uh, everybody's love, wasn't she? In the same hospital room where she passed away 14 years ago, Ryan O'Neill died Friday at the age of 82. Patrick O'Neill calling Farrah Fawcett the love of his father's life. And on social media, Mia Farrow recalling her co-star from the 1960s, saying simply, rest in peace, dear Ryan. Oh, in wow. the same hospital yeah. room. Yeah, just amazing. Got chills. It's absolutely. And, and Chris, so good to have you in here from L.A. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.